welcome to the Kentucky 4-H Virtual Experience. Today we're focusing on 4-H Cloverbat activities. My name is Jennifer Tackett and I'm an Extension Specialist for 4-H Development. Today we'll be making some bubble art. The materials you will need are a bubble solution, food coloring, several different types of bubble blowers, so the wands, straws, etc., small containers, a roll of white paper or just one sheet will be fine, a spoon for mixing, and masking tape. It might help to tape the paper to the activity table that you're working on, covering the complete surface. It also helps to fill the containers half full of bubble solution and add a different food coloring to each one. Mix up several containers to provide an even greater range of colors. Blow bubbles all over the table so the bubbles burst on the paper. Experiment with different types of bubble blowers, different sizes, and mixing the solutions to make different colors. Did different blowers make different types of designs? Why do you think they did? What colors did you use? And how did you make different colors? How can you use your bubble art? Think about using it for wrapping paper for, or for cards or pictures. Use your imagination. Thank you for joining me today for the Kentucky 4-H Virtual Experience focused on 4-H Cloverbud activities. For more information regarding Cloverbud projects, check out your local University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service.